This is going to be a video product review of the Home Top Premium Classic Rubber Hot Water Bottle. Great for pain relief, hot and cold therapy, 2 liter red. I will leave an affiliate link in the video description if you want to purchase this. Please click on the link. It will help me out. Do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, you know, all that good stuff. So what does it say here? It says, uh, instructions. When filling hot water bottle, use water that is warm enough for you, for your needs, but not boiling water. Fill to a maximum of two-thirds capacity. Do not overfill. Um, when filling, hold the bottle. Okay, the covering angle can be seen. Um, when done filling, insert stopper. You should... When not in use, empty the bottle, obviously. Do not place anything on top of the bottle during storage. Always check the bottle and stopper for wear and damage prior to use. Hot water bottles are subject to natural wear and tear. Um, service may be service may vary. Uh, five year, discontinue after five years. Packaging, okay, okay. So what does it say here? Great for relief, hot and cold therapy. Hot water bottle can be used alone as a remedy for aches, pains, sports injuries. In addition to the traditional hot therapy, it can also double as a cold compress for kids with fever or to reduce swelling for minor injuries. Continuous warmth, it's made out of rubber, retains heat for extra long time. Ribbed, everybody wants a ribbed. Outer surface helps maintain liquid temperature, safe and cute. Manufactured to uh, maximum safety, great choice. Classic hot water bottle, not only warms your body, but warms your heart. Oh, that's beautiful and touching. In chilly winter, place it under your bed cover to chase away the chilly night air or to use it as a heat pack under your clothes. Okay, I don't know about that. To relieve back aches, you will experience the soothing comfort of the heat bag. Okay, so, why did I buy this? Made in China, for those of you who want to know. I bought two of, uh, yeah, I bought two of these. This hot water bag is probably 30 years old, 40 years old. I don't know. This is a hand-me-down from somebody. Uh, this thing's lasted forever. And there's a little hole over here. So when I put water in here now, if I hold it the right way, I'm fine. But water shoots out of here. You never want water shooting out on you. So I went and said, why did I use this? Let's get into this first. Um, I'm a lover of heat packs. They are great. When I get a massive headache, when I wake up and I have a pounding headache from working out and my neck is tight or my sinuses are backed up and they're killing me. Put some uh, water in here. I know they say don't use boiling water. I usually heat it up in the microwave and then put it in the hot water bag. Put it on the top of the head. It feels wonderful and I know they say for migraines or headaches you don't want to do that. You want to use ice. I found that interesting that they said use this as an ice pack. I have never, or a, as a cool water pack. Never even thought of that before. It's a brilliant idea. Um, so a week ago I woke up at five in the morning, my head was killing me. Oh, and that never happens. I usually get the headache at night. And I put water in the bag and I put it on my forehead and I could feel the sinuses start draining within a couple minutes. Right away, I, I don't take medication. I take only over-the-counter stuff. I ran to the cabinet and took something for sinus and headache. Um, and without that, I think I would have been in serious pain because I was hurting. This helped the sinuses drain. I'm sure the medication did too. My body responds quickly to medication. So my sinuses were draining with this on the forehead. I put this on the top of the head. It felt incredible. I put it at the back of the neck. Well, the back of the skull, not the, the back. Does the neck have a back? Yeah, I guess. Okay, is the neck a back or is it your back that's a back? I put this at the back of my head, the base of my skull, and the headache broke. The headache, everything within about 20 minutes. And otherwise, I would have just been miserable. I don't know how much of it was the hot water bag, but I've used this before when I get the pressure. I put it on my uh, forehead. I put it on the top of the head. I put it on the back of the head. I put it on the neck. I put it on the shoulder, the top of the shoulder, because I always have tight SCM and tight shoulders from, uh, that's just how it is. So when this thing tore, I said, I want to buy something 
I don't know if I'm going to be here in 40 years, probably not, but I want to buy something that's decent. And I started doing my research online, and there are some hot water bags that are made out of plastic. You don't want plastic. You want rubber. Let's face it, couples out there, the rubber can save the future of life. So I did my research and I saw this and it's rubber and let's compare this. This is the ribbed. A lot of ladies know what the ribbed uh, sensation is. So this is the ribbed thing over here. And what did we have over here? We had this uh, number over here about, is this the uh, to BS standard? I don't know what BS standard is, but there's that number over there and the number um, we just saw over at the, the top, I think. This is, compared to the old one, I remember, this is the old one. These have the little hole on there because these were used for things that people don't really use them for nowadays. Um, this doesn't have the hole. This is a little bit bigger. It feels a little bit bigger. It looks a little bit bigger. Uh, we always want to, you always want to look at the opening. Isn't that right, men? You want to check the opening out, see what it looks like. Now, the old one had a plastic uh, top. This has got a plastic, again, this lasted forever. This has a plastic threaded piece. This has a metal threaded piece. So right away, I can say this is a superior product. We have a little, uh, little gasket over there to seal everything. And let's insert this. Let's penetrate the, uh, the threads over here. And how does it? It screws in really nice. You're going to get a good screw uh, tightness. That feels really good. That, that torques down. I'm impressed with this. I'm looking at the price I paid for this. this I'm happy with what I bought. Looking at the thickness, this is rather thin. This just, this was made well because this lasted forever. This lasted a long time. I can't see the number that it's got a patent number in there. Two way, two quart. This one is two liter. The, it feels, it feels sturdy. I love the, the screw in piece. This is neat. And the price is so reasonable, I thought, why am I going to buy one of these? Chances are it will outlive me, but I bought two of them because the price is so good. Now, do you use heat or do you use ice? And that's always the question. I asked, I've got some, uh, some stuff on my eye that bothers me, a little discharge. I asked the eye doctor. He said, put ice on there. And I said, could I put heat? He said, put heat, put ice, put it whatever you want. Both of them will work. Now, I know... Heat relaxes the area, it causes blood flow, which is good, but when you have a migraine, you probably don't want blood flow because it's going to make it even worse. You probably want ice to constrict everything and, uh, and help you out a little bit. When you have swelling, you definitely want ice, so you would want to put cold water in here for your cold pack. But besides not wanting to put heat on something you don't want to swell up, I think it's really a personal preference, what works better for you, uh, heat or ice. I've got a, a whole bunch of ice packs at home. I've done lots of video reviews on ice packs, and they are wonderful, and they will stay cold for a long time. I think this is a really cool idea, though, and I, like I said, I never thought about what they said, is you put some cold water in here, and you're going to have a cold pack for a while. And if you can get that water in a container, and put a bunch of ice in there and get that water freezing, freezing cold down in the low 30s and you put it in a bag like this, you're going to have a cold pack for a really long time. So I'm impressed with this. I'm happy I bought it. Home Top Store. It's the Home Top Premium Classic Rubber and that's why I bought it. It's rubber and not plastic so it should last a long time and not be a cheapy thing. Hot water bottle, 2 liter red. I only see it in red. I don't know if it comes in other colors. Hot and cold therapy. I'm happy I bought it. There it is. Hot cold water bottle ideal for hot cold therapy. Affiliate link in the video description.
do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure you buy it. It's a really good price and it's a really solid product. Look at that. Very nice. Home top.